this video I will talk about wheel build quality this wheel is new one machine built wheel but this also applies to hand built wheels or used wheels second hand uh, a common mistake or a common problem with wheels is that although they are true wheels are usually built to be true both laterally and radially less often they have the right dish that can also present problems often and it should be checked especially on the rear wheels but uh, even more common problem is that there is not an even spoke tension between left and right hand side spokes uh, which means that uh, for front wheels all the spokes need to be of the same uh, of the same tension or very similar as similar as possible up to 10% difference but for rear, rear wheels that have an offset dish left hand side spokes are usually less tightened they have lower tension than the right hand side spokes but as you can see in this video this wheel is ra rather true quite, quite decently true but we will check now the spoke tension because all the spokes on the left hand side need to have similar tension compared to each other just like all the spokes on the right hand side need to have a similar tension for checking the tension a uh, spoke tension meter can be used but also a nail or a guitar plug can be used and uh, I will explain some basic things on how to check for spoke tension here in this video professional spoke uh, meters can uh, show uh, quickly and accurately the absolute tension of each spoke so they make checking spoke tension very easy but also a guitar plug can be used or finger now first thing I'll do is to mark the on the rim the valve hole because for each job concerning wheel chewing valve holes in, is an important uh, reference so that everything starts and then and ends at the valve hole so we are certain that we've come all the way around I usually start at the valve hole locating uh, rotating the wheel forward so I know at each time which spoke comes next and if I am interrupted I just mark it with some that paper tape and so I know where I, where I have stopped on a wheel that uh, we don't know anything about before we start checking spoke tensions first thing that needs to be checked is spoke alignment now for this to be checked it is important that spokes are aligned near the nipples and also at the place where the spokes exit the hub or enter it especially uh, important about uh, the hub side alignment is the alignment of the outside sp spokes coming along the outer edge of the flanges it's important to make sure the spokes are nicely aligned along the hub flange and if they are not that place uh, that can be done by pressing them with a thumb about two centimeters away from the hole they enter the the hub's flange now at the nipple end the spokes need to go straight and uh, they mustn't make a sharp bend when entering or exiting the nipples uh, if this needs to be realigned it can be done by pulling together two, two pairs or two uh, uh, spokes that are crossed not the par two parallel ones so when that is when they are near the nipples pulled together they will usually pull both the nipples and realign themselves and it can also be done by hand as for the other part where the spokes exit the flanges uh, about two centimeters away from the flange it needs to be pressed down with thumb these spokes in this video are quite nicely aligned so there is no need to align them both at the nipple end at, and at the flange and now that is checked uh, a thing called stress relieving is also an important thing I'm here just gently doing it it should be done hard with uh, using gloves two parallel sets of spokes are pulled together close to each other around the whole rim that makes sure, sure the spokes are stress relieved at the elbows and that they are nicely seated bedded in after this all is done all these checks now we can check for the what I would call true spoke tension because now spokes are aligned and uh, if there was any bad seated spokes they will now bed in nicely and probably lose a bit of tension that would probably have happened during riding but uh, it's better to check it on the table before 
now for checking the tension with the with the guitar pluck, I will go around the rim and plucking each spoke near the nipple, holding my hand at the top wheel so it doesn't influence the, the resonance and I will always pluck them at the same place near these markers on my drawing stand. I will use that as a reference, going around the whole rim and listening to the sound of each spoke, the highly tensioned ones will make a higher pitched sound and the lower tension ones will make a deeper sound. The, very, the sound difference uh, is uh, rather large for a little difference in tension, so this is an uh, act easy way to check for relative tension between spokes on the same side of the wheel but uh, it will not uh, give us any information about to, uh, uh, each spoke's absolute tension, which is important for some rims that have a, most rims have a limited tension take from all the spokes combined together. So using a tension meter will give us that information and in those terms, tension meter is a bit better tool. Using just a guitar plug, uh, it takes some experience to know by feel, which is very, uh, it can be tricky and it uh, can give us some false information, but with enough experience uh, with uh, one rim type and one type of spokes, one can get some uh, memory, m even muscle memory about when pulling the spokes, uh, how, how tight they are and is it is it okay. But using a tension meter is safer now. What I will do is take uh, a lot of these markers, so they are easily available at hand, and I will go around the whole rim and check for wheel for rims for spokes with the higher and lower tension, marking the lower tension ones near the bottom, the higher tension ones up the top, and those that are just slightly below optimal tension, marking a bit higher, and those that are sli slightly higher but not too highly tensioned, marking them at the top but not all the way at the top. This will give me an overview of the tensions on the wheel, and uh, if a lot of spokes have the wrong tension. It is often easier to just uh, uh, unscrew all the nipples almost all the way out and uh, start uh, tensioning the wheel again. It will also this this doing this will also give us an information of what the state of the rim is. Does it have any sharp bends or any dents or any problems? And, and that can hardly hardly be compensated by chewing. But uh, it will uh, if if only a few spokes are have poor tension, then it can be just touched up and uh, the wheel can be trued and fixed. And uh, it, it's often the case that uh, one, uh, lower one, one spoke with the lower tension on the left side has its neighbor from the right side also at lower tension so that they don't make the wheel come untrue but they don't have the same tension and they're not pulling the same weight so they will usually unscrew or uh, the higher tension ones will have uh, carry greater load than the other spokes which both things are bad and make the wheel last uh, shorter. Now using this tension meter you can see how it shows spoke tension. This, uh, uh, this uh, ruler or how to say these marks are made for spokes of uh, standard, standard most commonly used thicknesses and here we can see a slight difference in tension between two spokes on one side of the wheel. That should be fixed.